A prominent royal biographer and author has offered insight into Meghan Markle's time as a working member of the British royal family before she and Prince Harry stepped back from their roles. According to the biographer, there were indications from early on that Meghan found it difficult to adhere to the traditions and protocols that come with her position. One telling sign the biographer pointed to was Meghan's apparent impatience and unwillingness to follow protocol during joint royal engagements with other members of the family. Specifically, she seemed unwilling to walk behind Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, as is customary for the lower-ranking royal. On multiple occasions when the two duchesses undertook engagements together, Meghan would try to enter rooms and events first ahead of Kate rather than allowing her to proceed as protocol dictates. The biographer explained that in these situations, some of the royal aides felt they had to quickly usher Meghan back so as not to break precedence in front of Queen Elizabeth II, who was still alive at the time. Maintaining the proper order of precedence is an important tradition within the royal family and one Meghan seemed unwilling or unable to observe based on her actions at these joint engagements. Her impatience extended beyond just following Kate as well. The biographer felt that if Meghan had committed to remaining a senior working royal, she could have accomplished great things and had a very impactful role. However, her unwillingness to wait or adhere to traditions ultimately held her back from fully embracing her position. With her background and talents, Meghan had so much potential but she couldn't suppress her impatience, according to this viewpoint. Interestingly, the biographer noted that Meghan actually had no real need to take on an official working royal role. With her fame and background, opportunities would have still been readily available to her had she chosen to remain more removed from the family instead of joining as a senior working royal. However, Meghan's drive to always be in the spotlight and in charge seemed to override that logical choice. In fact, Meghan's insistence on always being the center of attention is something the biographer directly called out. In their analysis, Meghan believes deeply that she needs to be seen as the most prominent person in the room at all times. One clear example of this was her decision to launch her post-royal lifestyle brand on the same day the Diana Award ceremony, which honored Princess Diana's legacy. By choosing that particular date, Meghan effectively stole headlines away from Prince Harry on an event meant to commemorate his late mother's charity work. The biographer argued this showed Meghan's unwillingness to let anyone else have the spotlight for even a moment. She needed to ensure her new brand launch took attention away from an event honoring Harry's connection to his mother. Beyond just her drive for prominence, the biographer also shed light on Meghan's feelings about her position within the royal family compared to others, specifically Kate Middleton. Meghan had stated in past interviews that she views herself as a self-made woman unlike Kate, who grew up in a privileged background. This sense of feeling superior to Kate in some ways likely contributed to Meghan's impatience with royal protocols that dictate Kate outranks her due to marriage order. She didn't want to be seen as lesser within the family dynamic and having to walk behind Kate went against her self-image. This added more context to her unwillingness to adhere to traditions surrounding precedents. In conclusion, through this biographer's analysis of Meghan's time as a senior royal before she stepped back, a picture emerges of someone who struggled with the realities of her position within the monarchy due to her impatience and need to be the most prominent person at all times. While she had much potential to make a positive impact, Meghan's inability to suppress these personality traits in favor of tradition ultimately led her to decide royal life was untenable long term according to this viewpoint. Her drive to always command attention and status overshadowed her ability to fulfill her role as she constantly challenged protocols rather than embracing them fully.